Hi Taurus! Welcome to your September monthly messages from Spirit Reading. This is your Girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Taurus. This will not resonate with every Taurus that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you, so please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you at all, Taurus, I highly suggest checking out your other signs in different placements. My intentions for this reading, Taurus, is to channel and provide messages from Spirit for you for the month of November, to ask Spirit if there's anything you need to be aware of, anything that you need to know, anything that will be happening in the month of September for you, maybe even something to watch out for or celebrate. I don't know. This could affect any area of your life, whether it's love and romance, career and finance, spiritual evolution, whatever spirit would like to bring forward we will talk about, and I hope it's the topic that's been weighing the heaviest on your mind or in your heart. So if you have any beings of the light you would like to welcome at this time, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, maybe even passed down loved ones, you're welcome to invite them into this reading for you now. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I am gonna use my sound bowl to clear the energy. If you are listening to this on headphones, I highly suggest turning the volume down a bit. I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get started. Beautiful. Okay, so Taurus, um, one message I kind of saw in a vision I saw was of bamboo, kind of like my little friend right here. And um, what I heard was what you have is solid. So for some of you, I don't know if you've been going through a situation, a relationship, whether it is romantic or platonic, and you're just kind of wondering if you could fully trust something, um, if this is really meant for you, if this really is something that you can be confident in and spirits kind of saying whatever you've grown here or whatever has been um, in your life recently that you've been putting time and energy into is something of value is something that you can trust and be confident in and maybe that is just yourself i don't know we'll go ahead and see what spirit has to say about this that could just be a general message for some of you out there so let's see spirit what does taurus need to know about the month of september wow the Four of Wands, Aries energy, what you have is solid. What you have is a foundation that you can be proud of, happy of. Or maybe you're just starting to plant the seeds to have this come to fruition. And it says foundation and achievements. So you're achieving something here, Taurus, or you've been waiting to receive your flowers, your rewards, your recognition for it. I do feel there's something to celebrate, a uh, partnership, whether that is romantic or like a business partnership you're getting into. Um, for some of you, you may be trying to start a family with someone. I, I'm picking up on that as well, and it will be successful in that venture, whatever you're looking for. But there is something that you're building here, Taurus, that is solid, and you need to know that. That could just be your own confidence in yourself for others of you I'm kind of picking up on. But you can trust the situation, whatever it is. It will be fulfilling. It will be successful. Bottom of the deck, wow, yeah, this is for some of you, material, material and spiritual prosperity, nice, Taurus. So yeah, if you guys have been thinking about doing another career, or how you're going to climb to the top, or how you can do your own business venture, you're going to be successful at it, so continue to build whatever it is you've been building. Some of you are trying to move, trying to find a new home, um, and I think you will be lucky with whatever offer you put in for a new home. And I feel, Taurus, you're looking, if, for those of you that are looking for a new place, a new city, a new house, a new apartment, whatever, um, it will be just right. Or you'll walk into that house, you'll walk into the area and the energy, you could see yourself being in that home. And that's when you'll know it's right for you. Um, but really, you guys are 
destined for success is what I'm hearing with whatever you are putting your energy and time into right now, currently. For some of you, it does have to do with a relationship. Others of you, it could even be mending family, mending family bonds, healing family bonds for some of you. But let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say. Aries energy, Taurus energy here, very strongly, not surprised. Some of you could be Aries, Taurus, Cuspers, or have Aries in your chart. Wow, no kidding, right? Because Aries had this at the center of their spread. You're going through a transformation right now. And for a lot of you, you're going through this transformation because you're taking that big step in September to finally implement the action you need to manifest the success in your life. And when we do such big jumps and big steps like that, it does feel a bit scary at first because it's something A, we've never done before. B, every time we're about to move into a new chapter in our life, the ego wants to hold on to what's comfortable and what's safe. But that's really what you're shedding, Taurus. Others of you, I kind of feel this energy that for all of 2021, you've been through this entire transformation. You've been awakened to things and situations that, although you may have been, you know, accommodating or been somewhat happy in, there was more you wanted. And instead of just kind of sitting there, wanting more, having a poverty mindset, you're going out and doing it, making the changes you need to make so you can have your happiness. You can feel successful and be happy doing what you've always wanted to do in your life. So major transformation, something is ending, a behavior, a pattern, but I really think it's the part of you that wants to hold on to that distrust in yourself or that distrust in that this is going to happen for you so you don't give up false hope or build up this dream that you're so excited about for it to just shatter. But let me tell you something, Taurus, it isn't gonna shatter. Let's keep going. Mm-hmm. Oh my, Taurus, out of the six cards here, one, two, three, four of them are major arcanas. This is a major month for you, a major shift. And bottom of the deck, we have four of wands again, Aries energy. You're building the life you've always wanted for yourself. You're making the choices now to step out of your comfort zone to do what needs to be done in order for you to be happy and whoever's on your team, they could come and join you as well. I mean, for some of you, there's a partnership that you're starting to really fall for, but again, maybe due to past experiences, um, you're kind of doubtful of fully opening up to this or fully accepting this. But again, that part of you that is unsure, uncertain, is falling out more and more you spend your time around this person. Or again, if it's a situation at work, career, your own spiritual evolution, the more you're working at it, the more you become comfortable and realize it's a stable foundation. Man, Taurus, I feel like this has been a very, very long process for you of this transformation. And I'm even hearing like the last few years You've been doing so much work on yourself and in your life, letting go of beliefs you were raised with, um, identities that may have been projected onto you about who you should be, what you should do, how you should you know, live your life, but you're finally making the life that you'll be happy with. And Four of Wands is more, it's not so much about, you know, the four of pentacles or the ten of pentacles are just financial stability. You're truly going to be happy. You'll feel passionate every day waking up knowing that I have the choice to make the decisions I want to make in this day. And nothing can confine me. Nothing can restrict me. You have that awareness that the only person that can find you and constrict you at the end of the day is yourself. And you choose to not do that to yourself. Or you're actually ending that ego of wanting to protect and wanting to keep safe because you can trust yourself enough to make the right decisions and choices. Sure, there are still going to be times in your life where maybe, yeah, <laughs> you could have done something differently, but I think you're at this awareness now, Taurus, this vibration where you act out of love. 
and whatever is still a part of you that wants to hold on to the fear, it's completely, it's going to become way smaller than it ever has before by the end of September. I'm seeing like a fire pit or a bonfire. Um, so some of you could definitely have fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very strongly, or there's just this new excitement you're going to have for life. So let's go ahead and get into this. Like I said, with rooting, or at the center of all this is the death card, Scorpio energy. Yeah, I mean, truly, I feel for a lot of you, whatever it is you've been transforming, whatever it is you've been healing, the almost like the final step is near and I think after this month you're going to look at yourself and your life in a completely new perspective in a completely new way and I even feel for some of you you could look back on your last few years and can't believe how much you've changed how much you've grown you can't believe that you were that person four years ago and look where you are now Embrace this. Embrace the change you've ma changes you've made. It's not easy. It's not an easy process. But you did it, Taurus. And you should be very proud of yourself. And for others of you who still feel like you're in that mode, keep doing it. Don't give up. Like I said, the final step is near. What's crossing this is the strength card, Leo energy. This newfound confidence, again, like I said just 10 seconds ago, 20 seconds ago, this newfound strength you have and to remember to maintain that even when the ego tries to pull you down to get you back to where you were before you went through this journey, this transformation. But I even feel like Leo, I don't, ooh, Taurus, some of you may have like Leo strongly in your chart, but this is like the energy you're giving off. Some of you could have Leo rising perhaps or Leo moon, but people see you as this like pillar of strength, of fortitude. I don't know, maybe there's certain people in your life that saw you at the lowest of your lows, when you were going through the most, when you had the most struggles, the most you know, hit after hit you were taking and for a while you didn't know if you could get back up, but you did. And I think you're realizing now you're stronger than ever. Crowning this is the Empress. So Taurus energy, Libra energy. I think now you fully understand the idea of abundance, the mindset of abundance. To see that even if you don't have $20 million, a huge mansion, the nicest car on the block, you're still abundant because you choose to see the beauty that you have in this life. You choose to see the blessings that occur every day. Just waking up this morning is a blessing to experience another day in life. And even when you come into contact with something or someone that tries to upset your peace, you find a way to either deal with it or to drop it. The Empress is sitting pretty, okay? And the Empress knows that there's nothing to force, nothing to push, and that the universe will always provide even in smaller ways or bigger ways. You know, a lot of us, due to the society we live in, and the political agendas that occur, we don't consider the small things as blessings unless they're, you know, that once in a lifetime event, that's only a blessing, but not, you know, just seeing the sunrise and how beautiful that is, or even to talk to your loved ones that you haven't talked to in a few days and you miss talking to them how much of a blessing that is you're awakening to this beautiful energy of acceptance and creation and flow and you are manifesting in this very moment Taurus you are a powerful manifester 
And I even think for some of you in September, you're going to start to see how your mindset has really affected the world outside of you. Because as above, so below. As within, so without. Your outer world really will reflect with how you feel within. What's reading this is the Ten of Cups. Pisces energy. I mean, again, especially with the Empress, if you guys are trying to have children, if not, this message isn't for you simply. But if you are trying to have children, I do believe you will be successful. You will have a bountiful family. You will be like the matriarch, the patriarch of that family, the one that all of your you know children will look up to and support and love and maybe you already are that person right now Taurus in your family but there's beautiful blessings coming in for you September that are going to reassure you that you are safe you are secure you are prosperous you are abundant and I feel a lot of you have worked very very hard to achieve these blessings in your life I almost get like this Cinderella type of story for some of you out there where it's like you didn't have it easy at all growing up. You know, the cards were definitely stacked against you, but you overcut, overcame those challenges. You wouldn't let be a victim of life. You wouldn't be a victim of your circumstances. You would be a warrior and a fighter of those and come out on top. And here you are, you know, this is what you've always wanted deep, deep down is this Ten of Cups. Relationships that are pure and genuine and loving. Surroundings that make you happy and feel fulfilled. And this is part of your destiny. I almost feel like some of you have like a grand trine in water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy of emotional fulfillment. So even if you didn't start off with having all this, you will end life with everything it is that you've desired and hoped for. But before you can, the death process has to come into full completion. Recent past, we had the Page of Pentacles. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Earth energy. Someone I feel has offered something to you, Taurus, of stability, consistency, maybe a financial pay raise of a promotion, a role, a job, or even for some of you, someone who you've been having a relationship is ready to step up, start to do the process of being in a commitment with you, providing you with something solid you can rely on. This still feels fairly new. That could have been in the beginning of September, maybe end of August. What you need to know about this month, Taurus, is the world card. Fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. This is another conquest you can celebrate. Again, like for those of you I really am tapping into of having difficulties in your life and not having it easy, time and time again, you've proven yourself over and over and over that there's nothing you can't achieve. There's nothing you can't conquer. There's nothing you can't overcome. And there's just another thing in September that with the death card you'll finally come into completion with that you could be so happy about, to celebrate. To feel like you finally have taken that final step of that whole transformation journey you've been going through these last few years. And now you can come into full completion and celebration of it and give yourself that pat on the back. Give yourself that moment of congratulations for everything it is you have done in this life. It's amazing. It's remarkable. Truly. Big or small. And the small things do add up. Don't discount them. So let's go ahead and pull some oracle cards for my beautiful Tauruses. What an amazing month for you. There's also two fours here. So your birthday could be May 4th, May 14th. You could be Life Path 4s. Or the date September 4th, September 14th. September 24th will be important for you guys. For some. 
What does Taurus need to know about this one spirit? What does Taurus need to know about September spirit? Ooh, geez, that flew. Okay, so we have ceremony, invocation. So Libra had this in their reading. If you have Libra in your chart, I suggest checking out the Libra reading to see if there's messages for you there. So kind of different than what I felt for Libra's reading. I feel there's some sort of practice that you're starting to do in your life in September every day, just taking a few minutes to yourself for self-care, for meditation, um, affirmations every morning, um, or something maybe you need to start doing to finalize this death process. Even if there are little struggles of, you know, disagreements or having a bad day to remind yourself that this is all the process. Maybe some of you are beginning to start your altars at home. Maybe some of you are starting to read tarot cards, get into oracle cards. But whatever it makes you happy, just going on a walk every day, um, reading your favorite book, at least a certain part of it every day, making time for yourself. Because with what you're doing is hard work. So remember to balance that out with certain daily practices to rebalance that energy you're putting so much into. Because you're important too, as well as your goals and your dreams and ambitions and the beautiful manifestations you're putting into work. Also give yourself time to heal as well. Let's keep going. You know what's funny? I just saw in my mind's eye, um, legally blonde. God, I'm such a millennial. So long ago. Uh, but you know, she's like doing that class announcement and she said, I don't know what class it was, like class of 2003? We did it! Like, I feel that energy, Taurus, and you did it. Like, there's something really truly to be honored here that I don't think you give yourself enough credit for. Let's keep going. What does Taurus need to know about September spirit? What does Taurus need to know about September? There we go. Wow! Dolphin! So some of you have like dolphin totem animals, you have a connection to dolphins. Lumerian energy is coming through, Atlantis energy is coming through, past lives in those places light codes from those ancient places for some of you. Wow, you're very in tune. Um, but it says, don't worry, be happy. Yeah. And you know that like little song that like, <laughs> I don't know if you guys will even know what this is, but those like fake mounted fish. And then you press that button and it's like that song that goes, don't worry, be happy, be happy now. You know that song? If you know it, comment below. I'm so horrible with names, as you may know, for my longtime subscribers. Um, but yeah, for those of you, like, again, I felt like there was still some doubt, still some hesitation, or still some maybe disbelief about everything going on, or if you're really on the right path, or whatever it was. Don't worry about it. Be happy. You are abundant. You are prosperous, or you're going to see the evidence of such in September and sometimes maybe you are kind of second guessing this because the way everything manifested wasn't exactly to your vision wasn't exactly to what you thought it was going to be but it arrived in a different way in the way it was supposed to or it's still manifesting in a longer of a time than you thought but by the end of September you're going to be very very happy for what you've achieved beautiful yeah, I almost like, I don't know if you can see this energy here, but I almost feel like the birth of Aphrodite energy here. A whole new you that you could be excited for, a whole new life that you're building for yourself. Finally feeling that prosperity. Or again, just reminding yourself that when there's times of fault, times of disbelief, that spirit loves you, spirit provides for you, and will give you what you need in the time you need it, need it always. Let's keep going. What 
What did Taurus need to know for the month of September spirit? Okay, three is too much. <laughs> um, let me put those back. Let's get one more card. One card, please, Spirit. Thank you. The number three may mean something to you. You could be seeing 333, three, three, Master Number 33. What does Taurus need to know about the month of September? There we go. Thank you, Spirit. Purification with Snapdragon. Number 41 may mean something to you. Wow. So let's go ahead and read the excerpt of, from the book because not only does it provide a beautiful prompt, but it also lets me know the deities that are associated with this card that may resonate with you or you could connect to after hearing this message, going ahead and Googling them. So let's see. Snapdragons indicate you have within you all you require they bring you energy to focus your recourses and bring your ideas into fruition. Accurate and unbiased observation is called for, so don't hesitate to ask for a little more time. A reversal of roles, fortune, and even outcomes could be coming. Don't become too ruthless or scatter yourself too far. A project that is close to you is in danger of falling. So this always gives that last little minute a warning. So. The uses are finances, reversal, inner strength, perception, exorcism. The deities are Eris, Loki, Odin, and the god Set. Celestial association is Mars. The astrological sign is Gemini. Yeah, so the only time that this could fail, Taurus, is the moment you really stop believing in yourself stop believing on what you were creating for yourself and fall back into old patterns, fall back into disbeliefs and, you know, that victimhood that you never really were, but maybe you felt comfortable for a while. That's the only way this is ever going to fail. And if a part of you still exists and that it's coming to an end, but really you guys, like the whole prompt said, you have everything that you require. Source, resources will come to you fluidly, abundantly this month. And you should be very proud of what it is you're going to achieve. It's amazing. So let's go ahead and get one more card for my beautiful Tauruses to see if there's anything else you need to know and see what animal totem is coming for you for the month of September. Wow, overcome any obstacle with the rhino card, number 50. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Taurus, life did not start out easy for you. And maybe even for some of you, you may have came to a blow in 2021, 2020, as a lot of us did, but you fought and you overcome. You are passing the test from spirit. You are triumphantly moving forward. You know, the Rhino kind of has similar bowl energy to where it's just a massive force. And when you direct that massive force, blocks will just be removed because you will it. And when you will it, so be it. Beautiful reading, Taurus. You are blessed this month, and this is a month for you. It may be Virgo season, but Taurus is here. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me for this reading, Taurus. I really hope that this has resonated with you in some way. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Want to win a free customized gift box from me? I'm doing a new giveaway where I'm going to give away one free gift box to a lucky subscriber every month because I do want to get back to you guys in some way for all your love and support. And in this box is going to contain a tarot card that I pull for you, an oracle card, a personalized message I have for you from Spirit, and a bunch of other good stuff. If you're interested in entering your chance to win a customized gift box, open up the description box, scroll down a little bit, and you'll find the rules of entry there in case you're interested. I love you, Taurus, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Taurus.